decided to fire up my PS Classic. This is the one that I uh, bought the USB game box for. So it soft mods it all by itself when I plug it in. And it's preloaded with a bunch of PlayStation games and RetroArch, RetroArch, uh, for older games. So this one is a Midway Arcade Classic one that I play a few titles from. And the sound at the beginning is a little bit wonky. It keeps kind of freezing and everything. So I'll play the sound once I know it. Uh, plays pretty good. <laughs> All right, so here at the menu screen, and I kind of take a moment to scroll through, see what's available, and decide on Gauntlet, which has been a favorite uh, of mine for a lot of years. Played very many different versions of Gauntlet, so I'm going to play a few minutes of that, and I'll let you hear the arcade sound. Welcome. Treasure, 100 points. Say a key to open doors. I find it odd that there's no background music going on during Gauntlet. I don't know that I remember that, but uh, whereas in the past I would just go through the first exit, I kind of got, I guess, brave here and decide to fight my way through and then jump all the way to, I believe it's stage 8, where I proceed to get beat down pretty quickly, actually. <laughs> Valkyrie is about to die. And then this is, yeah, you can see my health drops really quickly and I get sort of trapped and that's where I die. And it takes me a few uh, longer than it should probably to put in my initials. <laughs> but it's obvious that these games might play a little bit better and they're designed to be the actual arcade port. So you can tell with the PlayStation controller, um, not to make an excuse, but... Uh, as you can see, even when I'm putting my initials, it's a little less responsive than maybe an arcade stick uh, would have been. Welcome. All right, and so then I finally figure out how to get back to the main menu and decide on another longtime favorite, one I played a lot, um, not only at the arcade, but on the NES and so on. Uh, so a quick look at Paperboy and let you hear the sounds from that. Interboy, he doesn't write the news, he just delivers it.
Paperboy is another one of those games where I go, yeah, I think I'm pretty good at this. And then when I actually play it, I realize I'm really not. <laughs> but uh, I had fun with it. Um, reading up on Paperboy and trying to recollect, uh, a lot of people or you know some of the stuff I saw online talks about the actual arcade having bike handles uh, and then having the little switch on the handles to throw the paper. Again, I'm not sure if I remember that. Like, I've read that so many times now that I feel like maybe I do, but I was just remembering reading about it. So, yeah. yeah. And then you see my shocked face there, and I pause it. What happened is the little PlayStation Classic actually fell off of the shelf I had, but it didn't hurt it. It continued to play okay, so I just set it back up and went about my business. I definitely think the sounds and stuff from the arcade are a lot more fun than they were on the NES. That's one observation for sure. Alright, so back at the main menu and a few of these I haven't actually played, but uh, Marble Madness is one that I have played and that's the one I decided on next. I actually did okay on Marble Madness. Um, this little black marble is a jerk and smashes me a couple times, but uh, yeah, I, I managed to do all right until the stage after this, so, you know, spoiler alert. <laughs> but uh, fun game. Um, Again, I think that this one had like a trackball controller, if memory serves. Probably something I read about anyway, but yeah, a little different with the PlayStation controller. Still a fun game, though.
so then after Marble Madness, I realize it's going to end up being a game that I've never played, but that's okay. Fun to check out uh, new games always. So I end up um, opting for one called Crystal Castles. So again, this one I had never played uh, prior to today. Checking it out. And it's interesting. It's like a Pac-Man-y type game where you're a bear. Well, you'll see. So this game's a little different in that, well, it, it's just, you have to be right on the line to get the little dots, and there's some parts of it where uh, the little gems or crystals, whatever, but you can actually walk beside them as you saw in that first stage, and I didn't realize exactly what were enemies and things, and so the tree kills me here, uh, and so on, but the sound on this one's a little different, it seemed like it was playing super loud, um, but then I run away from the trees, and... Uh, so on. So, interesting game for sure. Alright, number one, top score, no it wasn't, it's like 185, I don't know, anyway, uh, but yeah, so that was kind of a different game, one I'd never played before, um, and I think I said that I was down to ones I hadn't played previously, but I'm not sure that's true, because I think Melipede's on this one, and I believe that's the one I play next, but here again, for some reason, it takes me a really long time to get my initials entered, um, but when, then once I do... And I go on to the next game. Yep, sure enough, it was Millipede, um, which is pretty much exactly like Centipede from what I recall, but I uh, you know, played a little bit of this, and uh, everybody's probably played Centipede or Millipede before.
All right, so that was Millipede, and then I end up on Road Blasters, another one I'd never played before. Actually really enjoyed this one. Um, sure, that'll be one that I'll check out again. Uh, but we'll let you watch Road Blasters, and that'll take us to the end of the video. So this one, again, I'm going to blame the PlayStation controller, but it's pretty obvious this one would play a lot better with the steering wheel. And most arcades from that era did have a steering wheel uh, as the controller peripheral at the cabinet. So um, spend a lot of time on the shoulder in this one just because I just couldn't quite get it right with the controller. but. Uh, pretty fun game, like I said, I, I think it was one that I would play again. I actually continued um, a couple of times just to see a little bit more what this one's about, and uh, yeah, it was an enjoyable playthrough. So all in all, I'd say, yeah, some pretty fun titles on this one. Um, again, this is the uh, PlayStation Classic, so it's a PS1 game. Um, it was, uh, I want to say Midway Arcade Classics, the Atari Hits Part 2, something like that. But uh, anyway, so we'll close out with sounds from the game. There's probably about another minute or so left. Uh, but if you did watch, thanks uh, for watching. hope you enjoyed it. Leave some comments about your memories of these games and the Paperboy thing if you have them, <laughs> and so on. But uh, all right, have a great one.